This video is brought to you by me and my cheapo Walmart soldering iron. My Weller burned out on me um, due to a failed thermal switch. So, uh, yeah, this bad boy will get us by. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Today I bring to you the uh, PV Classic 5410. Um, a customer brought it to me uh, because, one, there's a broken pot up there and all the knobs are, or all the knobs are missing just about and um, also um, there's very low output so whenever you plug up to it turn it on and everything um, if you crank the volume all the way to the max you're only getting uh, you know just enough volume it's probably as loud as I'm talking right now and um, we got to fix that, and also there is uh, there's no there's no reverb, so we have to figure out what's going on there. Okay, so um, so a couple things I noticed right off top is one, this is the little back plate with the effects loop on it. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a broken connection there, and a very bad connection on the other side of it. So we're going to start by fixing that, and then I notice this capacitor down here, a leg is broken off of it. So uh, I'm going to pull the board, um, test those capacitors, and uh, if it's good, get it soldered back in there, and see what happens after that. Okay, um, I got the amplifier out and sitting on top of my desk now and um, of course before you do anything inside of the amplifier you always um, make sure to check for voltage and drain um, any voltage that is still present um, for example right here on our B plus of this uh, EL84 tube we can look right here at the meter Hang on right there we still have 218 volts DC and I've had it unplugged for 15 or 20 minutes. So that is enough to kill you. Okay, finally got all my parts in for this old uh, PV Classic 50. Got some uh, new jacks. I don't remember ordering those, but uh, I'll take them. And uh, all of my new pots and uh, new capacitor. The other one, uh, one of the leads broke off of it. And that's another pot there. So this is this is the capacitor that I'm talking about where the lead broke. Kind of hard to see, but a little bit burnt. And um, I don't want to just try to extend it and and risk a solder joint breaking there. So we're going to replace that capacitor. <clears throat> and I ordered new pots um, because there's a couple of them on there um, that have been uh, bent. Uh, let's see. This one right here has been bent in quite a bit, and with these being the smaller style uh, pots, um, they're really fragile and they break really easy. So, like this one right here, for instance, you can see there, there's there's really no gap there. So if I try to bend that out to make uh, the new knobs fit, um, more than likely that thing is going to break. So um, to get this thing back to the customer here pretty quick, um, I went ahead and just bought all new pots. I think they were like two dollars and fifty cents a piece or something so um, that's not much for uh, for what it's gonna do for the customer alright we got our new input jacks and uh, pots installed the only one that's not new is that one right there that is for the uh, master volume and we also have our capacitor replaced that was broken so now I'm gonna put her back together and uh, see what happens all right and here's the last little gander before I put the back plate back on it there's everything new capacitor after I put the back plate on I'm gonna put the new chicken head knobs on there we'll power it up and make sure everything's working right we got this uh, PV classic 50 uh, ready to go. It's the uh, is it a 410 or 412 model? Um, 
So here's how it sounds. This is the clean channel with all of the EQ about noon with no reverb. Alright, let's see what our lead sounds like. Alright, I got the lead at about uh, about noon. Five minutes make sure nothing else cuts out but uh, everything goes well we'll take her back to the customer